Okay. No. Sample. Again, do not subtract the full number yet. Kailangan malaman niyo muna kung ano ang LCD. Hindi yung ginagamit LCD class. LCD kasi you're using the, the number as your denominator. Pero you can use then the term LCM. Kasi the answer to this one is a multiple. Okay, class. Same lang yun, ha? Same lang yun. Kaya ginamit yung B kasi denominator. Least common denominator. Where in fact, general term kasi si multiple. Okay? We can use either way. Opo? LCD or LCD. Least common multiple. Pero parehas lang po yun. Least common denominator kasi we're using the the number as our denominator. Okay? So, lagay na natin. 12 minus 9. Okay, anyone? The LCD or LCM of 7 and 9. Yes, Amber. 63. Okay, correct po. It's 63. Sometimes if you're getting the LCD or LCM, may mga numbers na ang common nila is by multiplying right away. Multiplying. Diba? 7 and 3. Ah, 7 and 9. Pag multiply natin, the product is 63. Pero others are not applicable. Hindi siya multiply. Yung kanina natin, katulad ng 8 and 10. Diba? 8 and 10. Hindi multiply na 8 times 10. 80. The correct answer to that is 40. Okay. Next. 63 divided by 7. 9 times 4. We have 36. Tama? 63 divided by 7 is 9. Ta times natin sa 4, 36. Next step. Dito naman tayo. 63 divided by, by 9 is 7 times natin sa 2. We have 40. Check natin. Mas malaki yung ating 36 than 14. We can now proceed to subtraction. Pwede na natin yung subtract. So, 12 minus 9 is 3, right? 3. And then, subtract natin. 36 minus 14 is 2, 22. And then, copy lang the denominator, 63. Can we simplify 22 and 63? Pwede ba siya simplify? Hmm. Paano na si check? Paano na lalaman kung mayroong numbers na uh, maipang di-divide to both numerator and denominator? Check lagi yung last digit. Tama? Di ba? Tinecheck natin last digit. Kapag... Um, even number siya, there is number na mapang divide which is mga 2, pwede rin 4, like that. If wala siya, 2 and 3, 2 is an even number, then 3 naman is an odd number, therefore, yes, wala. 3 and 22 over 63 is the final answer. Okay, so it's here. 
Let's proceed plus some multiplication. Oh, multiplication. Okay, there are rules then. Okay, let's straight sa. Let's go straight sa example para mas madali. Others are multiplying right away. You can do that. Okay? Again, ko kayo example. 2 times 6 is 12. And then 3 times 9 is 27. We can simplify yung 12 and 27 by dividing both by isang number lang. What is that number? It's 3, right? 3. Can be four. We cannot use four. Correct? It's three. So let's get nanti ng maliit lang. Para makita na we need to simplify. Twelve divided by three. It's four. And then twenty-seven divided by three. It's nine. The correct answer for this one is four nine. Three, four, nine. Okay. Same example. Two thirds times six over nine. This one is um is a process that makes it which is more easier for me. Okay, easier to. Tuturo ko sa inyo. I'll teach you how. Okay. I can see numbers that can simplify, can be sim simplified right away. I can see numbers. Check the numbers on the numerator. Ito yon 2. And the denominator of it, opposite niya ay 9. I cannot uh, simplify yung 2 and 9. But 3 and 6 can be simplified right away. Okay? By thinking of a number na, na makakapag-divide to both numerator and denominator. Simplify ka agad natin. Which is 3, right? 3 divided by 3, 1. 6 divided by 3, it's 2. Therefore, diretso na ako. 2 times 2, it's 4. 1 times 9, it's 9. Isang number ka lang nag-isip ng number na pang pa, to simplify, right? Dumiretso na ako. Therefore, which is more easier, ito po. Pero you can still use itong way na to or itong step na to if this one ay mas um, napapadali sa iyo na step. Okay? You can use either way. Pero this one, ito, mas ma mapapadali ang multiplication if you're using ito po, yung second. Okay. You can copy. Uh, meron pa tayo. Ilang minutes. Another example, na simplify muna. Clear ko na class, ha? Clear? Okay, ito. 3 fourth times natin by 8 over 9. Pwede i-simplify ka agad, di ba? Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Uh, numerator to denominator, yan. Yeah. Okay. Ito. 4 and 8, pwede rin. 3 and 9, pwede rin. So, dito muna tayo. 4 and 8 can be divided both by 4, right? 4 divided by 4, we have 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 
Next, simplify natin ulit to 3 and 9. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, multiply na kagad natin ito. Yung mga natirang number 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Mas madali. Ang pag-simplify natin ng numbers ay numerator at denominator ha. What if ito naman yung pwede simplify? For example, ganito ang given. 12 over um, 16 oh, times 8 over 9. Oh, what if ganito ang pwede simplify? Basta laging numerator to denominator pag nagsisimplify. Ito rin pwede na kaagad natin isimplify. Oh. Itong 12 and 16, pwede siya kaagad isimplify. Hmm. By 4, right? 4, divide natin by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Pwede rin dito sa taas, sa baba niya. Oh, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Hmm. Pwede ba maraming simplify? Yes, pwedeng-pwede maraming pag-simplify hanggang mapaliit niyo na mapaliit yung number. Okay? 4 at 8 can be simplified. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Tapos dito naman tayo, 3 and 9. Ganon din siya. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by uh, 3 is 3. So, multiply lang natin. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 2. Ganun lang din siya. One more example. What if ang given ay like this? So, 2 and 1, 7. Ang given ay parehas with numbers. Paano po iyan? Kailangan gawin muna natin silang improper fraction. We need to convert muna to improper, improper fraction. So, pag mixed number ang given, Okay, convert to improper fraction. Ulit, if mixed number ang given sa multiplication, we need to convert muna to improper fraction. How? Multiply. Plus 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1, 15 over 7. Balik yung operation, multiply. 5 times 2, 10 plus 4, 14 over 5. O, yan ka, kinapi ko lang yung denominator. Okay. Parehas lang yan. Yung 2 and 1, 7 is the same as 15 over 7. Kakailanganin kasi natin si improper fraction. Ang kailangan natin ay improper fraction. Same with kapag nasa division tayo. We need to convert muna to improper fraction. 2 and 4 fifth is the same lang as 14 over 5. Same lang po dyan. Kailangan po kasi natin sa multiplication and division ay improper fraction so that we can proceed to the operation. We can see numbers to be simplified, right? 15 and 5 at 7 at 14. You can do multiplication right away. 15 times 14, pwede din. 7 times 5, pwede din. 
Multiply tayo. Kung gusto nyo, anong gusto nyo process? Sige. Ito. Multiply natin. Two hundred ten. Two hundred ten kapag dumiretso kayo ng multiply. And then thirty five dito. Equals how many thirty five are there in two hundred ten? Seventy. Six, right? It's six. Tama? Seventy, yeah. So we have six. Okay, good. Thank you. Blessing. Next, what if yung nag-simplify tayo kaagad? Fifteen over seven tayo dito, and then fourteen dito, and then five as denominator. Equal. Simplify natin, class. Seven. Divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 2. Uh, 7 rather is 2. Then same din dito. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 over 1 to class. Pero the proper is yung whole number lang. 6. Oh, sige, lagay din natin. Pwede naman. You will still arrive at the same answer. Pero maliit na lang yung inyong minimultiply. Tama? So this one is here. Yung diretsyo na. But either way, you need to convert it to improper fraction muna. So, opo, improper fraction muna ha. Pag multiplication and division. Improper fraction muna. Okay. May question po. You have questions? Nang malilito. So continue the discussion, the same discussion. Again on Monday.